Hello, it's me, Abir, here with a tutorial on making realist terrain in Minecraft using the World Edit plugin. Okay, well, I've been playing around a lot with the World Edit plugin, and it's very, very useful for making custom terrain. Um, I can show you some stuff I've made already. This is just a quick little mountain, and this is the main area I was working on. As you can see, it's really, I can make mountains, oceans, some chumps load. It's very easy to make this, I mean, it's very fun. It doesn't take much effort, and you can do a lot of really cool stuff with it. Um, this is all done in World Edit, just on a bucket server using World Edit plugin. And as you can see, it's very nice and easy to work with. Uh, you can make big trees like this. I can show you how to do that in another video if you want. But anyway, yeah, um, it's a very good plugin to use, and you can do some really cool things. Anyway, to get started right away. The basis of what you're going to need is these things, the tools. You could set it with World Edit certain tools that when you right click it does a certain thing. So for this one, you type tool, brush, cylinder, sand, four, two. Now what that does is it uses this brush as a cylinder that makes a cylinder of sand with a radius of four and a depth of two. So when I right click, it's going to make that happen. And the sand will fall, and you can make terrain with this. It's very, very useful. Very useful. So, I mean, I could go ahead and make a small hill right now. You just brush around with the terrain, however you want it to be. Blocks do break off like that. It's a bit unfortunate, but that's okay. Um, just mouse it around however you want it to look. It's really easy. Just sort of paint yourself out a hill. It's almost like World Painter, but it's better because it's. I'll get into that later. I don't like World Painter much. But anyway, yeah, you just sort of brush yourself out a nice hill. And it's going to look a bit rough and cylindric sometimes, but that's okay, we'll fix that. And of course, you're going to get little ditches you don't like, just fill those in manually. And go ahead and do that. Okay, say so this is the hill we want. Let's go. Now I'm going to go over here to my trusted pickaxe and go double slash brush, can't smell today, smooth, four. It'll smooth, this brush will smooth out whatever you do in a radius of four. When you're making terrain, you want to use this sort of sparingly, because if you don't use this sparingly, this is what will happen. You can smooth it and you'll get perfectly straight lines like this, and it just doesn't look really realistic or smooth. But anyway, yeah, you start from the top, just lightly. You can do it just one click sometimes. Just smooth it out a little bit, make it look realistic. And it looks really nice right away. Oh yeah, so you don't want you don't want that. You gotta be careful to avoid that. And you can fix it again with another smooth, or you go in manually and change it and add more with a brush, but yeah, I think this looks pretty good. Add a bit manually. It doesn't have to be perfectly symmetrical. A generally symmetrical thing is good to start with, but it's always fine to have it a bit rough like that. It's designed to it. And as you can see, we got a pretty nice hill already. Now let's make it look like it's not made of sand. Get ourselves a wand. Pick a position there. Uh, yeah. And we'll go over to the other side. So we can select the whole mountain. And we'll do double slash position two. I select position two up there. And then replace. I didn't have to do it. Well, 50 sand stone. Turns all the sand into stone. Actually, let's fix this here. I don't like that. Very easy. And then double slash naturalize. And it'll cover it all with dirt. That's a very useful command. So you can actually get a stone mountain that actually has dirt in it. And it's very nice. And just fill in whatever you see. Just go around. Do whatever you want to do. And by the way, you see we got a very nice hill. Similar to that hill. 
let's say we want to build a bit of a, a, a canyon valley ditch thing. We're going to use this other brush, brush, sphere, air, five. Okay, sphere of air with a radius of five. And when you right click, this is what happens. It makes a nice pit. And you can dig out a nice trench with this pit. And we'll even it out at the end. We can make smaller ones. This one a three. We'll make this one a one. And with the one, you can just sort of take out the side. You don't want it to lip on these things. You can add them in later if you're looking for that, but because we're going to smooth it out with the smooth brush. And if there's lips or overhangs with the smooth brush, it really screws stuff up. And I'll show you about that. Say you want to smooth this out, this side here. Go over here and smooth it, and instantly it starts pulling stuff down like that. And you get pockets in there, and you do not want that at all. It's going to happen, but you want to live with that as much as you can. So that's why we go ahead in and get rid of the lip first. Get some brightness. And we can always go ahead and deepen it more if we so desire. Make this a canyon sort of thing. Just make sure you don't you leave the sides up. And go light on the smoothing for these. You just, you just take in terrain out, chunk it out. If you do mess up, just do double slash undo. Very useful. Can't tell how many times that saved me. Um, just sort of shape it however you want it to be. And avoid overhanging lips. Even that's a bit problematic, but yeah. Already we got a pretty decent canyon going here. But you can see that there's the cylinders on the bottom. You don't want to see that. You want it to look realistic. So we'll bring out the old smooth brush. We'll bring it down to a three. We'll just start smoothing the bottom out. And instantly you can see it realistic sizes the sides. Oh, see, that's what we want to avoid because it gets all those inside pockets. You end up actually doing a lot of this manually sometimes if you want to avoid that. So, yeah. Um, don't be afraid to go in and pump stuff that manually. It's always sometimes the best method. And there we go. That side's good. going in nicely. If you want it to be sheer, you don't have to um, even smooth it at all. I sort of like the smooth look. It gets rid of the artifacts from the brush. But, yes. It's very useful. Sort of shape it however you want it to be. A lot of this is stuff to personal preference, how you want it to look. Um, so just do what you want to do with it and roll with it. Make a mistake, double slash undo, and just experiment around. It takes a while to get used to these tools and to get what you want right away. But I was just filling with this. It takes some time, you can't just go through it right away. Oh, see, I screwed up there. Let's get a bit of a long video, sorry. Pretty much that's all it is, but I'll show you some other stuff at the end. This is what happens when you smooth the overhangs in. You get these pits that take forever to fill in. So be careful. Try to avoid the overhangs as much as possible. And we can honestly just shape the rest of this manually and not even worry about smoothing it. I'll show you how to do that. You just fill in the sides to a realistic amount. And nice and easily. If you want to get rid of these, just fill in the sides, naturalize it, randomize it, make it look real nice. And okay, 
Let's see, you're happy with this? You're done with how it looks? You're happy with how it looks? Let's take up the little cone-ups. It's a pretty nice canyon. We can always extend it, and let's say you want to do some magic to it. We're going to go down, and we're going to take out a little bit more area down here. Not that much area. Use this one. And we got to fix it so it doesn't look squarey in the brushes. Very nice. And we're going to do a nice... Whoops. That'll fill it down with water. So we're going to make a bit of a lake down here. Let's make it a bit higher. And we'll do fix water 10 to fix the water and make it all connect. And so it doesn't run. And I want the bottom of my lake to be covered with clay. So I'm going to use another tool. Um, can't use blocks. Flood. Clay. Three. So now when you go under and you right click, it'll fill it all in with clay. It'll replace everything you right click on with clay. You can always go manually and make it how you want it to look. But this is a very useful tool. Double slash flood. Block radius. And just sort of fill it with clay. If you wanted this to be grassy canyon, you could naturalize it and that would look nice. But I prefer this one for now. And I don't like that overhang there, so I'll just go ahead and take it out. Now let's see how it looks. Yeah, it looks pretty nice. Nice little lake down there with the hill. That's not the best hill, but we could always change that. And it was very quick. It looks pretty realistic. So if you guys want me to do more of these, I could definitely do more. I've had quite a bit of experience with this, so glad to help you guys out. If you do want another one, just leave a comment. If I get like three comments, I will certainly make another one because I enjoy making these videos and I need some practice. So yeah, this is me, I hope you enjoyed the video. See you later.